Welcome back to your students. Uh, I'm Siddiq, uh, Assistant Professor in the Department of Economics and I teach Microeconomics in the Department of Economics, University of Kerala. Um, uh, this uh, second part of the lecture is on Prisoner's Dilemma and uh, let us talk about what is Prisoner's Dilemma uh, and the other issues which I was discussed earlier. Um, of course, uh, we had already discussed about uh, the possibility of an equilibrium under uh, an invisible hand key. Uh, here, what uh, we are going to uh, talk is uh, in the sort of uh, uh, solution people may arrive uh, at, how effective that can be is actually what we are dealing with. So imagine that Anil and Bala are now facing a different problem. That is, that is, each is deciding how to deal with pest insects that destroy the crop they cultivate in their adjacent field. So each has two feasible strategies normally. That is either go for a very expensive or a very deadly terminator kind of uh, chemical to kill the pests or uh, to have an integrated pest control instead of chemical. So they have two options that is uh, either go for a terminator or IPC. Uh, so if just one of them chooses terminator the damage is quite limited. If they both choose it whatever contamination becomes a serious problem and they need uh, to buy costly filtering system etc. So, uh, the, the point is that uh, if I would like to uh, uh, decide or I would like to use terminator which is a chemical then what does naturally happens is actually the this can be goes to the uh, stream or water body which is both of them uses uh, that will have a cost upon us both of us so irrespective of who has used this uh, the cost is going to inflict upon both of us because we are using a same stream or pond or whatever uh, for our water supply. So in that sense, uh, even the other guy is actually using an IPC may not be very feasibly end up with this thing. So this is now creates a lot of problem. That is, if Bala and Anil, suppose a situation like this, Bala and Anil uh, has two options each. That is, if Bala use IPC and then Anil can go for either IPC or Terminator. Then the reverse also. If Bala use Terminator, Anil can either use IPC or Terminator. So if both use IPC, beneficial insect spreads over both fields, eliminating pests. No water contamination is the result. That is the first outcome. That is both of them uses IP, if IPC, then this will result as the best result. That is no water contamination. Mm, uh, if one person, as I said earlier, if one person uses Terminator and the other person uses IPC, then Bala's chemical, suppose Bala uses Terminator, then Bala's chemical spread to Anil's field and kill his beneficial insects also, which is also uh, limited water contamination is the result. Similar the case with uh, if Anil uses Terminator and Bala go for IPC. So Anil's chemical spread to Bala's field and kill his beneficial insects then limited water contamination is the result. Now suppose if both of them use a terminator, uh, terminator then um, eliminates all pests in the field, heavy water contamination requires costly filtration system etc. So this is actually the four possibility of the social interaction uh, regarding the pest control. Game. So this, this uh, problem we can use many real world situations. For example, we can use this in the environmental analysis, environmental concerns which all of us are having right now and um, uh, other fields if, if, if we are very carefully read all these things. So both Anil and Bala are aware of this, uh, this outcome. As a result, they know that they pay off. Uh, that is actually the amount of money which they are going to spend minus the cost they pass pest control strategy and the installation of water filtration if they if that becomes necessary will depend not only on what choice they make but also on their choice itself or oh, this is what is called a strategic interaction 
so uh, if we convert just like what we have done in the earlier uh, lecture that is uh, in the the case as in money monetary terms or numbers then suppose if bala and anil uses ipc each then both of their payoff would be 3 3 this is a hypothetical suppose the one uses terminator then his benefit would be 4 because all the insects goes but it also affects the uh, other person that is anil's uh, uh, what you call the the insects which is actually useful for his uh, crop so what is the result the result would be the lesser payoff for anil so say it is one so bala gets four anil gets one now if it is reverses the situation say in the case that is if anil use terminator then anil will get an output which is actually required for him so four and bala gets ip because bala uses ipc uh, uh, but uh, that uh, kills his uh, pace, uh, the, the favorable pace, and uh, his productivity goes down. So one. So in the in this case, Anil gets a four, and Bala gets one. Suppose both uses Terminator. Then what is the result? A heavy damage in the body, which will increase the cost of healthcare, whatever you know, the filter cost, etc. Come in, and the net result would be. Uh, thing which is less than uh, three which is suppose a, in this case it is two okay so this is how the payoff matrix looks like three three then uh, one four then four one then two two so this is the payoff matrix of bala and it looks like so. so how will they play the game now this is the question so uh, to figure this out we can use the same method as in the previous section that is draw the dots and circle in the payoff matrix of yourself and Anil's best response what is the Anil's best response Anil's best response depends on if Bala chooses IPC terminator IPC uh, that is terminator cheap eradication of pest with a little water contamination so what is actually the best response if Bala chooses IPC then it is always profitable for and uh, to use terminator because that is cheap for him and cheap uh, eradication of pests as well as a little water contamination may not be that much harmful so if bala chooses terminator then terminator again because ipc costs more and cannot work since bala's chemical will kill beneficial pests also so what is the result so terminator is an its dominant strategy so the result is very simple that Anil always choose for Terminator rather than the IPC. So you can check similarly that Terminator is also a dominant strategy for Pala as we had already said. Because Terminator is a dominant strategy for both, we predict that both will use it. Both players using insecticides is the dominant strategy equilibrium of the game which is actually ends up with a result which is 2-2. This is completely contrary to what we had uh, discussed in the earlier equilibrium uh, lecture. That is uh, where you have a dominant strategy which is the best strategy itself. But in this case what you have is actually the dominant strategy is not necessarily the best strategy. Because now the payoff matrix, look look at the payoff matrix. Anil and Bala each receive payoff of 2. But both would be better off if they both use IPC instead. So the prediction predicted outcome is not the best feasible outcome in this case. So the pest control game is a particular example of a game called the prisoner's dilemma. So what you expect may not be your result. This is what is called a prisoner's dilemma game. So uh, why it is called a prisoner's dilemma game? So the name of the game comes, comes from a story about two prisoners. We call them Selma and Louis, uh, the famous characters in the movie. So whose strategy are either to accuse or implicate the other in, in a crime that the prisoner may have committed together or deny that the other prisoner was involved. If both Thelma and Louis deny it, they are freed after a few days of questioning. If one person accuses the other person while the other person denies, the accuser will be freed immediately a sentence of zero year. 
whereas the other person gets a long jail sentence, say 10 years jail. Lastly, both Selma and Lewis choose accuse, meaning each implicate the other. They both get a jail sentence. The sentence is reduced from not 10 years because 10 years is the maximum jailing, but now both are involved. So less than 10 years, which okay for uh, clarification. Let's put it as five years because of their cooperation with the police. Payoff of the game are shown in uh, in the in the following manner. That is, if both deny, that is Louis and Thelma denies, then uh, one one. That is only in an interrogative period they should be in the jail. So it is less than one year or one year, say for simplicity. So one accuses the other, then uh, the person who is accuses the uh, and the other person who deny gets maximum jail. So suppose if Zelma denies, then Delma gets uh, ten, then the Louis gets zero. And uh, if uh, Thelma accuses Louis, then uh, Louis gets 10 years and Selma is 0. But what is the dominant strategy here? So uh, though deny is the best strategy for both of them, uh, it is always a possibility and a probability consideration that you always uh, accuse because if you accuse uh, the other person, then the other person would get always the highest imprisonment. Uh, that is one way of looking at the problem. Otherwise also, you, know, you may not be uh, that worse off. That is, the result would be uh, uh, both accuse each other and they end up in jail. So this is what is called the dilemma of the prisoner. The payoff are written in terms of the years of the prison. So Louis and Thelma prefer a lower number in that sense. So more years or less. So this is actually a kind of a dilemma which the prisoner has. The question of this uh, game uh, had done by many and uh, this can be actually you learn in a higher class. So if you come to the university then you will learn there. So payoff are written in terms of years of prison as I said and in, in a prisoner's dilemma both players have a dominant strategy in the example. So Accuse is actually the dominant strategy which when played by both result in an outcome that is worse for both than if they had both adopted different strategy. In this example, deny. So deny is though deny is the best strategy, just like the IPC example which we had earlier. People never go for it. Why? Because accuse is the best strategy. Even if you deny the other person accuse, then you will be ending up in a jail and you'll drop. So this is the problem with the issue. In a prisoner's dilemma, both players have a dominant strategy in the example. That is why I said accuse is the dominant strategy, which when played by both results the outcome that is worse for both of them. If they had both adopted a different strategy in this example deny, then they would be actually at a better position. That is after their interrogation, they may be scot free. So our story is about Thelma and Louis is hypothetical, but this game applies to many real world problems. For example, watch the clip from TV quiz show called uh, Golden Balls in the core uh, YouTube. You will get to know many of this thing and you will see how one ordinary person ingenuously resolves the prisoner's dilemma. In economic example, the mutual beneficial strategy which is denied is generally termed cooperate, which is called cooperation games while the dominant strategy accuses called a defect. So uh, corporate does not mean that players get together and discuss what to do. Uh, the rules of the games are always that each player decides independently on strategy. So this is actually comes under in a natural uh, prisoner's dilemma and uh, Tucker was a person who introduced this in the mainstream. The contrast between the invisible hand game and the prisoner's dilemma shows that Self-interest can lead to favorable outcome, but can also lead to outcome that nobody would endorse. Such examples can help us understand more precisely how market can harm the self-interest to improve the working of the economy, but also limitations of market. This is very well applicable in the case. Three aspects of this interaction between Anand and Bala accuse of to predict an unfortunate outcome in their prisoner's dilemma game. That is, 
they did not place any value on the payoff of the other person and do did and so did not internalize take account of the cost of that their action inflicted on the other there was no way that anil and bala or any one else could make the farmer who used the insecticide play for the harm that it caused and the third one is they were not able to make an agreement beforehand about what each would do had they been able to do so they could have simply agreed to use ipc or banned the use of terminate therefore this kind of games are called in a non cooperative game so we can overcome one or more of this problem the outcome preferred by both of them would sometimes result so in the rest of the uh, discussion we will examine the way to do this okay so if people don't cooperate then they don't discuss etc then the outcome may not be uh, 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 based on the dom uh, the dominant strategy is there but uh, the the outcome is is not necessarily the best however the based on the dominant strategy this is actually the best so um we will come to uh, the other examples uh, in a while uh, so uh, let's uh, have an exercise uh, for that please go to the exercise uh, for two or uh, go for the exercise of the question number 43 in the in the core content so which is very very useful for the beginners especially be a students so let us now go for the other set of problem which is called the social preference uh, based on altruism and in the context of inequality etc okay so this is very very important uh, uh, topic uh, the word altruism and other things which is also part of this game theory um when students play one shot prisoners dilemma game in class or laboratory experiments sometimes for substantial sum of real money it is common to observe half or more of the participants playing a cooperative rather than defect strategy despite mutual defection being the dominant strategy for players who care only about their own monetary payoff one interpretation of these result is that players are altruistic so for example if anil had cared sufficiently about the harm that he would inflict on bala by using terminator when bala was using ipc then ipc would have been anil's best response to bala's ipc best control so integrated pest control would be the best strategy and if bala had felt the same way then ipc would have been the mutual best response which in fact was never the case in the earlier game so and two would no longer have been a prisoner's dilemma situation however they were so a person who is willing to bear a cost in order to help another person is said to have altruistic preference so this is the the definition normally a standard definition everybody use that is a person who is willing to bear a cost in order to help another person is said to have in the example uh, uh, in the example anil was willing to give up one payoff unit because that would have imposed loss of two on bala his opportunity cause of choosing ipc when bala had chosen ipc one was one and it confer a benefit of two on bala meaning that he had acted altruistically the economic model we uh, we, we normally discuss uh, uh, self interest preference and uh, the farm cared about their own free time and their own grades or consumption etc so therefore uh, people are cared about their own interest they may not be very much uh, altruistic that is what we believe but in the real world we know that parents are altruistic in raising their uh, children so if you convert that as a game then normally uh, if parents are not altruistic no baby will ever grow because uh, baby need care so that care is not a care of 
anything expected, but it is an altruistic kind of thing. So the importance of altruism in social interaction is very, very important. So uh, we say that the individual has a social preference. Altruism is an example of the social preference. Uh, and uh, let us uh, move towards the indifference curve uh, analysis to see how this altruistic preference is connected. So if preview, if uh, imagine a following situation, okay, Anil was given some ticket for the national lottery and one of them won a prize of rupees 10,000, okay. He can of course uh, keep all the money for himself, but he can also share some of it with his neighbor, Bala, okay. Now, ideally, the horizontal axis represents the amount of money that Anil keeps for himself and a vertical one amount that he gives to Bala. Each point x, y represents the combination of amount of money for Anil x and uh, Bala y in thousands of rupees. Okay, so the shaded triangle depicts the feasible choice of Anil at a corner where 10 0 on the horizontal axis, Anil keeps it all at the other corner 0 10. On the vertical axis, Anil gives it to Bala. So, Anil feasible set is shaded area. So, now uh, if I would say this example, you may not be very much uh, liking it. Let us actually uh, uh, quote a very different example. For example, if some of your friends or your neighbor uh, or your brother got uh, some money from somebody, if the brother is not giving you the money, some penny then you have all tendency to have the similar you know to steal for example okay so it may not be very much uh, but in real world uh, people uh, in order to avoid such a uh, situation people act very altruistically so the brother gives a uh, chocolate because he got some money so you also never feel up oh, okay brother got something so i got something so uh, and vice versa if you get something that you will give so this is a kind of social interaction in that sense so um, this is what is actually the example which i would like to depict with so boundary of the shaded area is a feasible frontier if anil is dividing up his prize money between himself and Bal. he chooses a point on that frontier the choice among points on the feasible front is called the zero sum because when choosing point B rather than point A, as in, in the figure which you have to look into the website, the sum of Anil's losses of Bala gains is zero. Okay? That is, what about whatever money which Bala loses is being gained by the other person. Therefore, in total, there is no loss in that gain. Okay, so even if you want to give up, some amount, then that is actually being gained by the other person. If the other person gains, the social benefit of the giving up is equal to the, the, the loss which you incur. This is what is the point. So, Anil's preference can be represented by indifference curve showing combination of the amount Anil Bala are equally preferred. So, this is what is actually the indifference curve. There is a lot of illustration and you can have a look at all. If Anil is self-interest, the best option given his feasible set of A, where he keeps all the money, if he drives utility from Bala's consumption, he can downward sloping in different curve. So he may prefer an outcome where Bala gets some of the money. So with the specific indifference curve shows the best feasible option for Anil is point B which is actually 7,000 7, rupees and gives 3 to Bala, so 3,000 3, rupees to Bala. So Anil prefers to give 3,000 3, rupees to Bala even at a cost of 3,000 rupees to him. This is an example of an altruism, Anil is willing to bear a cost of benefit in that sense. So altruism is a very very essential thing as far as social interactions. Now to be very clear about, to make it little uh, clear, as I uh, began saying about the family, if the parents are not altruistic, there won't be any children raised. 
because all of us know that uh, most of the time the parent give up they will for example if they are the best uh, the, the individual who is having a rational utility maximize then what would be their first interest to maximize their own interest so if they are actually maximizes their interest then what is ultimately uh, a result is that the interest of the children may not be satisfied the interest of the children because being the children baby they themselves have no uh, you know cognition or what Mm, they have the agents uh, agency then uh, they will perish uh, or uh, the, what they get would be always um, uh, less because the social preference altruism with this I think we uh, come to the end of this lecture and for exercise on altruism and selflessness uh, please refer the question exercise 4.3 and uh, question number four four uh, are from this particular uh, uh, e resource that is core uh, hyphen econ dot org slash the economy book text chapter four so please refer this text uh, for more details thank you for listening to me and uh, have a wonderful day uh, thank you so much.